Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Uh, my name is Daniel, and uh, in today's video, I wanted to share with you kind of what's going on. Um, I'm actually at a drop-off location right now. You probably can't even see it, but there's a home behind all of that, and uh, there's some pretty monstrous trees uh, up here, and apparently, evidently, one of them is going to be taken down just one decent-sized tree here, and uh, they're going to be chopping it up, uh, hacking it down uh, to be able to fit into my dump trailer. And uh, from there, I'm gonna be dropping it off at uh, somebody's house uh, to give them some free wood. It helps them, they actually give it away and help other people in need, especially you know people who don't have heat besides a wood burning furnace. Uh, so it really just everybody benefits. Don't There's no dump fees, people are getting helped out. So it's, it's a pretty good deal. But uh, basically, I've been getting quite a few uh, from this one particular guy who cuts down trees uh, a tree cut or whatever. I think I've already had one other video talking about that, but this is gonna be a back-to-back -back, uh, situation. So today, Saturday, and then tomorrow, Sunday, where tomorrow's gonna be even bigger. It's gonna need, need to have two full dump trailers uh, worth of uh, trees hauled away. And again, I've got the free you know, dumping uh, capability for that, but this has been just a, a incredible situation to have that reoccurring, consistent, it's not every weekend so far right now, but it's about every other weekend. It's starting to really pick up uh, being able to work with this guy, uh, being able to get some of these rentals where uh, it really works out pretty well. Obviously, trees are going to be you know fairly heavy. Honestly, it hasn't been you know that really bad uh, for the actual dump trailers being over overloaded or you know you know too much use. Um, you know, honestly, it hasn't been too bad with. Uh, being overloaded hasn't had you know that much wear and tear on it uh, i've inspected the dump trailers afterwards just to see like hey like are we is this too much too heavy to too much you you know abuse on the trailers but honestly it really hasn't been that bad because of how they're how they're doing it how they're cutting up the pieces and then carting it down here and then uh, tossing them in uh, really has not been that bad so um so anyways yeah today just a drop off uh for this evening uh, getting that rental, getting tomorrow's rental, which will be two, going down to Indianapolis. Uh, that's going to be quite a bit more money just for the one day because of everything that's kind of going on with that. But uh, this has been a really interesting uh, situation, being able to have repeat business with a few, you know, contractors or, or you know, guys who are out working here doing other service industry stuff, uh, being able to, uh, you know, help customers. Uh, I would, I would challenge you try to find just one person obviously find as many as you can but try to find one person you can first build a relationship with uh and just be able to say hey you know i've got one dump trailer i've got two i've got whatever you got maybe you got roll off bins depending on what you want to do whether it's tree service or anybody else instead of trying to sell them and trying to uh you know just drain their pockets immediately try to build that initial relationship first to be able to start the journey together you know going down the road this guy who i connected with uh he's a younger guy i believe he works for duke energy during the week and then on the weekends he hustles hard uh and tries to get uh, a lot of uh, tree uh, removal you know servicing done on the weekends so uh there's not many people who are running on the weekends especially those who can go and dump uh, a lot of places aren't going to be open on sundays that's usually when he's able to get these jobs and so I've just intentionally made sure I'm the guy who can say yes to him uh, on the weekends when it's possible. Uh, so far, so good. It's worked out well, but uh, this has been a just an encouraging, exciting thing uh, for me, being able to have more and more repeat business. Hopefully, you know, building his business and I'm benefiting in the process. Uh, it's quick turnaround. It's these one-day things, these one-day jobs that. Uh, at, my, at my prices, it's working very well. It's worked out very well so far. So uh, being able to pro provide this service when other people maybe can't or don't want to, uh, when I can, uh, as it works pretty decently well with my other job out on the road, you know, more at the beginning of the week rather than uh, later on into the weekend and all that. So anyways, yeah, I would just encourage you to try to find just one person. Uh, if you already have one person, find the second one, find the third one, whatever that may be. And really, I, I would just encourage you, what, I've, what I have done is instead of just blasting numbers at them, which has worked out well, 
uh, for me, try to connect with them. Hey, what are your needs? What, what would be able to help you out the most? Well, this person said on the weekends, being able to have one day rentals, because it's never gonna be more than one day, uh, depending on the job, you know, being able to show up when, I, when I'm needed and possibly being able to do live loading, uh, which for me on the financial side makes even better better sense for me to be able to to make more money doing that being able to then find uh, you know a place to dump it uh, where I live as well as you know further away down to Indy uh, so that's been very productive for me being able to dump where I live as well as down in Indy and finding different places to dump at I guess essentially is the is the name of the game uh, or maybe you could even you know put it out on Facebook hey anybody need some wood to be able to shop for firewood anything like that or whatever the case may be this being able to dump this on the weekends and to provide and really fill the gap for his need right now he doesn't have a dump trail he doesn't have anything else really going on I am he said it a number of times already he said I'm a lifesaver I've saved the day I've you know all these different things and I'm just like dude I'm just showing up on a Saturday uh, with a dump trailer <laughs> hauling it away dumping it at a buddy's house coming back like but that's filling his biggest need. You know, that is providing a service, taking care of him when most people aren't willing to or they can't for a variety of reasons. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, puppy dropped. I've got it at the right location here in front of this house. Uh, the doors are able to actually be opened uh, further down there. There's some cars that are parked behind the dump trailer, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this off of the truck. We go and uh, get back out on the road get back home I do have some other things going on personally this weekend so being able to work and plan it around and kind of get this dropped off beforehand uh, it's working well for me uh, so far so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here hopefully you have a great day today stay safe guys and God bless